Hey everyone, I wanted to go over the new and not so exciting news that we got for Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak that's set to release on both the Nintendo Switch and on PC via Steam next summer. And that's the fact that the official Monster Hunter Rise Twitter account for North America went ahead and randomly posted this, where they're basically saying, Hunters, we know you're itching for more Sunbreak news, stay tuned for Spring 2022. But in typical fashion, the North American Twitter account doesn't necessarily go into any detail as to why they're even posting this or providing us this information. In fact, you have to look at the Japanese Monster Hunter Rise Twitter account to be able to get more details as to why they're even saying this to begin with, which, which again, I have to stress this, the North American Twitter account is not very good at conveying information because in typical fashion, they think we're just too dumb or too stupid to be able to actually process all the details. That frustrates me. I see this stuff with like Nintendo all the time. So I always find it frustrating that the Japanese official accounts usually provide us with more details, but I guess that's just the way it's going to be. So when you take a look at the Japanese Monster Hunter Rise Twitter account, there's actually a post that says, in the web article of FromFamitsu.com, Sujimoto, the producer, has announced the following information for Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak is scheduled to be released in the summer of 2022 when news will be revealed around spring. Please look forward to an upcoming report. Now, they're actually linking back to a Famitsu article where I believe they're interviewing something like 127 different game developers from Japan. And they usually ask them typical questions for like, what are your plans for next year? What did you accomplish this year that you were proud of? Typical, you know, cozy type of stuff like that. That is very good to get some kind of insightful information from all of these various developers um, and producers. I'm not going to get into all of them. Of course, they're not related to Masa Honor, but there's two very specific ones. Once. First and foremost, we have a post directly from uh, director Ichinose uh, speaking about Monster Hunter Rise and his expectations for Sunbreak. And then we have uh, the information from Ryoto Sujimoto, the producer for Monster Hunter, which of course also provides a little bit of intake. And we're going to be going over that as well. And of course, I'm going to be leaving a link in the description below for all of this stuff. So if you want to check it out for yourselves, you know, you should be able to do so as well. Uh, for director Ichinose, it says in the bottom, as director, he worked on Monster Hunter Rise Portable Series. Then he followed it up with Monster Hunter Rise, which was released in 2021. And a super large expansion is set to release in 2022. They mentioned 2022 keywords. He said Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak will be on sale soon. They asked him what was his 2022 aspirations. He said he just wants to follow along and play new games. When it comes to goals and prospects, do you feel like you've actually found some? And he actually says that he's interested in Minecraft and the ideas that it provides. But he simply hasn't been able to finish Animal Crossing, so he wants to play that as well. He also mentions recent reports that Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak is a large expansion of content for Monster Hunter Rise that will finally appear in the summer under the directorship of Yoshinate Suzuki, who took over as director. And all the development members are doing their best to make it as interesting as possible. Information will be released later this year, so please look forward to it. The last thing that they mentioned in his profile is that what to look out for in 2022. And he mentions a bunch of like anime and games and stuff that I guess he wishes to play or wants to finish, but you know, not necessarily all that relevant. So when it comes to director Ichinose, he doesn't necessarily mention anything specifically having to do with spring, but he does mention that of course the production team is already working on Sunbreak under the directorship Yoshitake Suzuki, the new director. Now moving over to the profile for Ryoso Shujimoto is when we actually start to get more details. This, the introduction is the very same thing. Monster Hunter series producer in summer of 2022, the large expansion for Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak and Monster Hunter Rise will be released. Uh, they mentioned the 2022 keywords. He mentions that he just wishes to advance. Um, not necessarily sure what that's supposed to mean. And then he mentions the 2022 aspirations. In 2022, we would like to deliver Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak, which is scheduled to release in the summer. To everyone in various different forms. I'm guessing he means Switch and PC. Also, the Monster Hunter Rise series will be celebrating their 20th anniversary in 2024. So I think it's time to prepare various things. That's an interesting point that I'm going to come back to in a little bit. Now, the last thing that they mentioned here is the recent reports. And this is the thing that we need to be paying attention to. Current reports mentions currently Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak is under development, and I think following information for Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak will be delivered around spring, so please look forward to it. 
So when the North American Twitter account for Monster Hunter basically says, hey, you're going to get more information on spring, and they don't necessarily actually tell you why that is or where this is coming from, this is coming directly from this Famitsu interview with Ryoso Sujimoto and Ichinose, director Ichinose, providing us a little bit of information on the game. Not necessarily anything we didn't know, but now we do know at the very least that uh, we are going to get some news regarding the game on spring. Now, there's two things that I wish to tackle. First and foremost, I believe I'm not necessarily sure if this was like pre-planned already. Presumably it is because these type of developer interviews aren't just kind of sprung up out of nowhere. But I do find it fascinating that just a couple of weeks ago, we started to hear regarding a presumable Capcom presentation happening sometime in January where they're going to be showing off more of the game. But now all of a sudden they're saying in spring. Now, spring basically means April. Uh, if we're following the North American, I presume, you know, calendar and seasons, how they actually go. Uh, winter doesn't end until like late March. So we're not going to get any real big news up until April. That seems a little bit wonky to me, if I'm going to be quite honest. I believe that winter officially ends on March 20th here in North America for 2022. So it's going to be one of those things where like, are we going to have a Capcom presentation in what, March or like early April? Like, that's a really long time. Again, this whole roadmap thing for waiting for news for Sunbreak, we've talked about it endlessly, how the game was just revealed kind of early back in September, and uh, there was no real justification for it other than the fact that they just want to, you know, announce it. And we don't necessarily are going to be able to get any real substantial news until we get closer to launch, which is, you know, April kind of lines up with that. They have three to four months to be able to promote it as best as possible that is if presumably it's set to release let's say in july or august if it's really set to release in the latest part of summer which is in september then you know that's even more time that they're gonna you know equate to being able to provide us more information on the actual expansion now the second point that i do want to touch upon that he mentioned specifically is in the aspiration sections where he mentions also monster hunter series will be celebrating the 20th anniversary in 2024 so in 2024, I should say, not the 24th the day. Uh, so I think it's time to prepare various things. Now, obviously, Monster Hunter 6 or World 2 or whatever they're going to end up calling it, by 2024, that game is going to be out. It's presumably, if plans don't change and COVID has changed a lot of plans for a lot of people, specifically publishers and developers, uh, that game was scheduled to release in 2023. Presumably, it would be something that we see once Sunbreak has been out for a couple of months. Um, so we don't necessarily know if those plans are still there for 2023, but that game would be out by 2024, obviously. Uh, what else could they have down the pipeline? We don't necessarily know other than the fact that, you know, Rice has kind of justified enough of a sales figure for Capcom to continue to support the Switch and presumably put that ga same game on PC as well, because that audience will always be craving for, for more of these games. So, you know. Will there be like a rise to uh, an expansion, another expansion or just another brand new game? It could be justified or even by that point in time, they could be releasing the Iceborne version of World 2 or whatever that might be their biggest expansion for that game. So we'll just have to wait and see what the timeline is all about. But I do find it interesting that they're already mentioning 2024 in this very specific thing. And again, we also get the news that in spring we're going to be able to get some new, some new information regarding Sunbreak. Uh, but that's about all the information that I wanted to go over. Again, I'm all about the details and I like to go over the, the fact that this all this information that the Twitter account regretfully decided not to provide us with is actually coming from a Famitsu interview, which I do think is worth considering giving it a look. Again, link in the description below if you want to check it out. But if you're brand new to my channel, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Hit the bell to receive notifications when the videos go up. And as always, thank you so much for watching. See ya.